What is going on, guys? Welcome to Gregolis TV Daily Rewind. This is where we go back a week and give you the past seven days of tech news videos in one single video. And in this week, we talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 5 where we compare it with gaming. We do a little bit, we jump out of the news realm just a little bit and go into some gaming. We talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 5 in general and some of the features that have come out. We talk about One UI 6 and so much more, S24 Ultra. So check out this week and we'll see you in the next one. Today's stories, guys, are really, really good. All about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I wanna talk about that, so let's just dive right in. The first story has to do with some two-way communication, something that's inside of Apple phones. And we heard it was gonna come with the S23 phones and it didn't. And now it looks like it's being delayed and put out to the S24 phones instead and this is what it is it is two-way satellite communication that will allow us in emergency situations to communicate with um, people you know uh, that transmits and receives satellite data again you're not going to use this to chat with your friends or anything like that you're going to use it in emergency situations so you're in a ditch you fell you're in a valley you're all alone there's no cell service you could go and use this service and communicate with people. I've, I've reviewed a product like this. You know, it was a dongle, and I just did it a couple weeks ago. And it works with any phone, Android or Apple, doesn't matter what year or anything like that. So these things are cool. These are gonna be handy. It'll probably be free like Apple's for a little bit, and then it'll end up being a service you'll probably pay a monthly fee for. Again, you're not gonna use it to communicate with your friends. You can with the service I have, and you can, so the, the, the little thing I reviewed, um, which is the Motorola Defy, you can communicate with SOS, you know, services, and also with your friends and family. This one I would bet is only gonna be for emergency things. So still cool to have though, and it looks like Samsung's probably gonna get it based off of this article in the beginning of 2024. What about the rest of the S24 Ultra? Well, Ice Universe has leaked out a couple of things. Again, he's like doing this in a trickling sense. And the first one is that the camera has adopted a new 3X 50 megapixel sensor. With this sensor, Samsung can get a good 5X zoom image quality. So our zooming capabilities in terms of capturing beautiful photos when you zoom in should be improved again with the S24 Ultra. Not something I use all the time, but again, it can come in pretty handy and capture uh, some great looking photos, but also we're not done with that. It's also, and this is a little bit more murky, but he does say it is also going to have a upgraded screen as well. He doesn't talk about if it's the brightness or the quality or what it is. It's probably gonna be a mixture of both. I don't think they're going to a 4K display. It's probably still gonna be 2K. It's probably still gonna be 120 Hertz, um, but it's most likely gonna be a little bit brighter and probably just a little bit more crisper, like a newer technology display with that. Here's the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And I'm gonna play a couple games on here that are pretty popular and pretty graphically intensive. So I have Fortnite on here just to show you the settings. You can see I have it set to 60 frames per second and I have it set to the highest graphics, Epic. And also I have texture quality that's set to high. Um, you can't do 90 frames per second and I'll just to show you, it kicks it back. Um, the highest I can do with 90 frames per second is, is uh, actually I can't even do high, can I? It's like low, so I'm just gonna, I wanted to do the, the highest graphics that I can do on here. Cause I think, you know, you want it to look good, but you also want a good frame rate. And I think that having it at Epic will definitely show that off. All right, and here's the lobby. I just wanted to kind of show what we're working with here. And I've got the, I don't know if you can see it in the frames per second in the top right, but it's basically hovering around 60. It's, it's dropping a little bit, but generally it's, it's sticking right at, like I said, about 60. All right, so let's jump from the bus and let's just see how well this performs. And you can, if you're a person that likes to play with a controller, as you hopefully know, you can connect a Bluetooth controller to this and play it like a traditional console. And you gotta know that this is one of the nice things about having a folding phone, is that when you close it up, you have a nice small phone, but then when you open it up into these large displays, you have this nice viewing for a, a game. This does run the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. 
And I think that would be a, a nice little positive with, with this over something that's, you know, like the Pixel Fold, which has a Tensor G2 processor. This is definitely a big win for this one because it's going to be able to handle more games more accurately and more positively. I'm going to summon around here. I'm just, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Let me get out of here. I'm not used to uh, <laughs> playing without a controller, so it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> so I'm really just wanting to show you guys how this looks while it's uh, while it's running. Oh gosh, who's shooting me now? Well, there goes that. <laughs> but you can see, I mean, it's it's running beautifully. Um, you know, it it doesn't look as good as a traditional console obviously and it's not supposed to it's literally a mobile type gaming system and if you want to play fortnite on this you can definitely do it and it's going to run it up to 60 frames per second in epic mode and that's a great thing because you want this to look good and you want it to have a high frame rate and this phone will have it in just a short amount of time i do want to admit it is getting a little hot right here uh, and and we've only been playing it for how long i've been recording uh, I don't know if it shows me. It doesn't show me on the recording, but it's only been a few minutes, and it's so you got to remember that it's probably going to get kind of hot as you play the game. So let's try um, Genshin Impact next. All right, now here is Genshin Impact, and we're going to go into here. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go into graphics. We're on medium by default. We're going to set this to its absolute highest. Current performance load is too high, which can lead so we're gonna see this if it can actually handle it or not I put everything to I think everything's at high right now yeah everything's at highest frames per second can we load this up to 60 looks like we're overclocking this bad boy experience um, all right I think everything's good do I have to save anything I think it just goes there we go let's get out of here and let's go let's see can it handle Highest or not, I don't have a, a frame per second counter. I need to head that way, it looks like. So I'm gonna jump in the water. It, the game looks amazing. Looks really, really nice. Uh, beautiful, you could even say. Uh, running at 60 frames, it seems like, I don't have a frames counter like I mentioned, but it seems like everything looks really, really nice. The graphics are crisp. The frame rate's definitely better, I can tell that, because I was, I've been playing this on 30. It won't let you change the graphics, uh, which you tap up there to get to, um, until you get to a certain point. Oh, oh, look at the ship. And so far, so good, guys. This looks amazing. Um, the system does get a little hot. It's not hot right now. I haven't really been, I took a, a second off. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, God, these guys are going to get me, dude. And I'm not an expert at this, so if I am really, really bad at this, let's see. Let me hold this. Can I get... Oh, I got him. Is this going to get them? Can... Oh, shoot. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, my gosh. I tapped it. Tapped it. I'm learning. That's what it said before. And I, I think I beat them. Oh, no. it's one more guy. I guess I'll just beat him with my sword. There we go. We get a little cabbage. So you can see this game runs awesome guys it runs really really well on the galaxy z fold 5 it's, it's got the snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor it looks great if it, it like i said it runs amazing it's an awesome little system to be able to play this at the absolute highest graphical quality settings it sounded like when i chose it i wouldn't be able to do it but obviously you can see it's actually having a pretty good time overall I'm very impressed with, oh, let's try it. Am I gonna beat these guys? Oh, oh my God, dude, what is going on with these guys? Let me jump, jump, oh. Let me just try to beat these guys. Did I beat them? Not yet. Oh God, I didn't even get this guy. I'm gonna have to beat him with my sword. Beat him, beat him, beat him with my sword. Look at that, awesome. So if you're a Gen Gen Genshin Impact player, this looks awesome, it plays awesome on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. First story of the day has to do with, as you know, Galaxy Z Fold 5, Tab S9, Z Flip 5 have come with One UI 5.1.1 and it has some new features and some of those features are now beginning to roll out to the previous devices. So if you have one of the previous devices and you were in 
envy of some other device that your friend had or somebody else had or you saw online because it had a new feature. Well, those 5.1.1 features are now rolling out to the previous devices, as you can see right here, directly from Samsung. So check your device to see if the update is out. If it's not out, it should be out fairly soon. Next up is all about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And are we gonna get a big upgrade here or not? And in some ways, I guess there's gonna be some, obviously some things that are upgraded and in other ways it'll be kind of the same thing as previous generation. Well, some more specs have leaked out and been confirmed for this device that should launch in February or March of 2024. So here we go. We're looking at this coming from Yogesh Brar, who's saying that the rare camera will now be 200 megapixels that's up from 108 megapixel 12 megapixel ultra wide which i believe is exactly the same 50 megapixel tele telephoto which i believe is the same 10 megapixel periscope which i believe is the same as well selfie camera still 12 megapixel hasn't changed battery 5000 milliamps and 45 watts of charging which is the same again uh, one of the bigger things would here would be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in some of the world, and then the rest of the world would get Exynos 2400. So if you previously would get Exynos processors for Samsung devices, you're gonna get Exynos again, unfortunately, or fortunately, the way you look at it, if you're happy or not with that. But those are the specs so far. Obviously more things will come out, like the official RAM and storage. Storage will probably be the same. Um, RAM, there's, there's rumors that it's gonna go up to 16 gigs again. Um, beyond that, it probably doesn't seem like too much of a change. Obviously the displays are probably gonna be the same size and they'll probably also be very similar in brightness if not a little bit brighter. So it's not gonna be huge, again, a huge jump at all. So if you're on the fence about getting an S23 Ultra, you're probably okay with getting it. Um, you're not gonna see any huge jumps in many of these categories. The story has to do with the S24 Ultra and the weight of this phone. Is it going to be less? Is it going to be more? Is it going to be any difference versus the S23 Ultra? Well, here we go. This is the information that's coming out from Ice Universe, who's saying that the S24 Ultra weight will be 233 grams, which is only one gram different than the S23 Ultra. He said, although the titanium alloy middle frame is adopted on the S24 Ultra. So no real big change in weight, S24 Ultra versus 23 Ultra. The first update for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 has begun rolling out. I actually got it on mine. It's like a 350-ish meg update. So go into software update on your settings and check for that update. You should be able to download it for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Um, it doesn't really say anything in there in terms of like what the update's all about. So don't go crazy and be like, oh, it does this, it does this, it does this. It's literally, it looks like it's probably just security update. It doesn't look like it's a bug fix or anything. We're still, we're still waiting for that kind of update. So if you have any bugs or issues where the frame rate's not staying at 120 hertz all the time, and it's dipping a little bit. I saw that Sam Mobile was having that issue. Then that update just isn't out yet. This is good though. I feel like in the last iteration, couple iterations of Galaxy phones, they've been a little bit delayed on pushing out that first update. It's been like, I think up to like two or three months late or something like that. And then they get into a fine line of getting them out in a timely manner. But this one came out pretty good. So hopefully this is a sign of things to come for some updates for this phone. Last story of the day has to do with the OnePlus open fold phone. And we've been hearing that it was going to be launched in August and then obviously would shortly come out after that. But it looks like it's been delayed. And there's two reasons. We heard about some display changes for the phone, but then there's potentially another reason why it's really being delayed. So here's the information from Yogesh Brar. And just to let you know, Oppo and OnePlus are basically the same company, so that's why he has Oppo in here. Oppo Find N3 Flip, China launch is scheduled for the end of August. OnePlus Open Global launch is expected to happen by late September, early October. Apparently the delay is not just due to display switch, but also due to Nokia and the Oppo royalty case. So unfortunately, you're looking at that in terms of there being a, you know, a delay on that phone. So it kind of falls into what I was really expecting. Probably late September, early October would be the actual release date for the OnePlus open fold. And I'm kind of disappointed about it. I'm not gonna lie, especially when you're getting that late into October, you're like, why don't you just wait? another couple months and put the 
Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on there. But I mean, still, 8 Gen 2 is a great processor. Um, so we'll have to wait for that. But yeah, a little bit of a delay on that, unfortunately, if you're waiting for the OnePlus Open Fold. See, and I've been holding my Galaxy S23 Ultra, which does currently, at the time of this video, have the One UI 6 beta. And there's a new feature within the Gallery app that's actually really cool and really handy in terms of editing your own photos. I learned of this from a tweet. You can see the tweet on the screen right now. And I went in there and figured it out myself how to do it. It's really easy and it's very, very cool. So I'm gonna show you what this new feature is all about inside of One UI 6, inside of the gallery app so the first thing you want to do is like I said we're gonna pop open the gallery app so let's come up here let's open up gallery all right so we're in the gallery app and then from here you're gonna choose a photo so I'll just choose this one of me at the uh, Snapdragon uh, thing they brought us to a baseball game and uh, anyways so what you're gonna do is you're gonna edit this photo it's gonna tap down here and any edits I make on this I can actually carry over to another photo. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. So I'm just gonna do some basic stuff here. So I'll choose light balance. I'm gonna maybe make it a, maybe I'll make it a little bit brighter and then I'll come down to brightness and I'll make that a little bit brighter and then I'll come to exposure. Maybe I wanna make that a little less. Contrast, maybe I want it to be a very contrasty photo. And then come to highlights. Maybe I'll make it like that. Nothing great. It doesn't look great, but you know, just messing around with some things. And you can go to other stuff too. It doesn't have to be the categories that I just chose. It can be basically anything. After that, you're gonna tap on the top right. You're gonna see those three dots. Tap those three dots and choose copy edits. So I've copied those edits. Now I don't even have to save what I did. I can completely get out of this and go to another photo. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna hit discard. Go back again. I'm gonna choose one of these photos in here. I'll choose this one of me right here. I'm gonna hit those three dots again, and I'm gonna hit paste edits. So you see it at the top, I'm gonna to hit paste edits. It takes a second, and there you go. It makes that change to it, and I can save this or undo it, whatever I want, and I can keep doing that for basically all of my photos. I want the pizza one, you're like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna mess with this, this picture a little bit. Top that, paste edits, takes a second, but then it takes hold and it makes those edits. So that's what I was talking about. I think that's a really, really cool feature to have within the new One UI 6 to make photo editing a lot easier. And you know, if there's edits that you like, it can be very handy. You don't have to keep figuring, oh, I, I, like, I like the brightness this, and I like this and that. You could have all set. The only thing cool that would be even better than that would be to save that as a filter. And I don't think that's available just yet. I, I didn't see it myself, but that would be great. You're like, you know, I have this filter set saved for this within the gallery app. So I think that's a really neat, neat, nice feature. The only story of the day has to do with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Pixel Fold. And I wanted to talk about something that I don't think anyone's really gonna mention. And I've noticed that the more I've been using my Pixel Fold phone and coming from a Galaxy Z Fold 4 and then going to the 5, this is a big thing and I've noticed it more and more and it's something definitely to know. Um, it has to do with phone calls, which let's be honest, a lot of us still make phone calls. Some of us don't. A lot of it's more texting or video chats or um, calling with a, a third party app such as like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or some other app that's like that. And I'm just talking and, and this has to do with, again, traditional phone calls and talking on like this and with the speakerphone. Without a doubt, as much as I like the microphones with the Pixel Fold in terms of like recording a video, stuff like that, with phone calls, it's a different story. Have it be, again, with speakerphone or kind of just having the phone down or holding it up here, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and 5 do a much better job at phone calls. I don't know why, and I know there was a feature in here that said, I can't forget what it was. It was something like, uh, if it doesn't dis detect my voice, it won't, um, it'll, and it'll cut the background noise out or something like that. I turned that off just to be safe because I was having the issue before, but I totally noticed when I'm talking on the speakerphone or, or I, I'm, the phone's down and I walk away from it and I have it on the speakerphone or don't, or I hold it up to my ear, more times than not, People sometimes have issues hearing me, especially clearly. They'll hear me, but it's usually clearness. It's like the clarity is just not there a lot of the time when you're using your phone on the Pixel. I'm not sure why. I noticed it with my, my, my sister's 
Pixel 7 Pro. And then again, this has been my main phone for the last handful of weeks or months that it's been out. And I just noticed, I'm like, dang, you know what? Sometimes the people can't hear me. Um, you know, if I'm using a Bluetooth headset, it's, it's fine. It's when I'm just using the internal microphones on the phone call with the Pixel Fold versus like the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 5. It's something I totally took for granted how good phone calls are on the Samsung Galaxy side. They're excellent. They're really, really good. Um, and this is just definitely a step down in that department. So if that's a big thing that 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 is 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 bothering you or that's on your mind, you know, how good are phone calls versus these two phones? Definitely the Z Fold 4 and 5 are way better than the Pixel Fold in terms of the quality of the call that you'll hear and the quality of the call that people hear you. So Kim's question was, uh, will I notice much of a difference in screen quality going from the S23 Ultra to the Fold 5 inside display? And I, just, I saw someone else wrote no, not one bit in screen size, yes, but quality, no. I completely agree. I think the Galaxy Z Fold 5 screen is amazing looking. And when I look at this, of course, you're gonna notice a couple things. You're gonna notice the, especially when you look at it really, really closely, you're gonna notice the crease inside the middle of the screen. When you're looking at it in certain things and certain um, graphics that are on the screen, you won't notice it at all. Some you will, so you know, keep that in mind. But the quality of the display in general, not at all. I think this these, these displays look awesome to me. Um, so I would say no. Yeah, everyone has their own opinions. Probably gonna be some people that say yes. There will be some people like me that say no. I personally think not. Um, if I just had these, you know, a, a Galaxy S23 Ultra next to a Z Fold 5 and you couldn't see the body and you can only see like a little portion of the screen, I doubt you would notice any difference. So I'm gonna say no, I think it looks amazing. The last question about the Galaxy Z Fold 5 comes from Marlin. He asked it a couple times, but um, it's the same question. Why is the Fold 5's fingerprint sensor not letting me scroll up and down to access the quick panel and the notifications or is there even this option in the settings like the Fold 4? So Marlon, you were right. It looks like in the Galaxy Z Fold 4, you could do some gestures on the fingerprint sensor on the side. You had to go into settings and then motions and gestures, and then you'd go into like fingerprint sensor gestures or something like that, and that would allow you to swipe up and down on the fingerprint here and bring up the quick panel or your notifications and stuff like that. It looks like from what I can gather from online, it's been removed because the Galaxy Z Fold 4 had a capacitive fingerprint sensor and now they're using an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. That part might be incorrect, but that's what I found online. But, and, and, as, and I guess the, the, the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor can't handle gestures on it due to the fact of you know the technology that's built into it and it could also be a cost cutting measure that reason why it can't they got rid of that part but that's what i've gathered so far so it's definitely not in the galaxy z fold 5 i can confirm that but that's the potentially the reason why thanks for watching guys if you have any questions leave them down below put hashtag put question ask your question we'll get it answered in tomorrow's video have a great day we'll see you down the road we're having a crazy storm here in san diego it's about to start in the next couple of hours here so best of luck to us it's supposed to be a tropical storm the first tropical storm in 84 years here in san diego so i think winds are going to be like 40 miles per hour and then torrential downpours which is very rare for this area we basically get no rain and no wind it's pretty crazy so this would be a change of events out here in san diego i know rest of the world it's like almost sometimes a, a daily occurrence in the summer but not for us Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.